Hi there, Michelle with Crafty Servings. We're going to do another Dollar Tree craft today using these Dollar Tree craft panels. I'm going to make this look like sort of like old barn boards, I think. I'm going to attempt to do that. And then we're going to turn it into a nautical theme. So, but you can certainly do any kind of look you want after you do that old barn board look. So, I hope I see comments here. I guess I never even thought I got them. Last week I couldn't get them. Hello, Kathy. We're going to open this up. Can you hear me okay on here? I've got my microphone on. Hi, Kendra. Thank you for passing me on, Kathy. Open this up. All right, so this is going to be our second step. First step, because I said I'm going to make it a nautical theme, first step is we're, we're using from Dollar Tree. This is a Dollar Tree craft today. We're going to make it look a little little bit old. Oh, I know. There was something else I was going to get. We'll see. I might be able to do it without it. Hello, Anne. Hello, Lisa and Carla. All right, we're going to open this in layers because I'm going to need to peel off a layer when we're done. Okay, first off, we're going to do Mod Podge on, Mod Podge on here. Say it the right way, right? Hello, Patricia. You've got some bad weather coming too. I'm hoping to get this done before it actually starts here. It looks later there was supposed to be a big line, but now it seems to be moving faster. There looks like some pretty orange stuff maybe about an hour away from us, our drive. So I don't know how fast we'll get here. You might see me jumping with the thunder. All right, I'm glad you hear me. All right, we are going to do the iron method on here. So we're going to put a good coat of the Mod Podge. Honestly, I think this would look awesome, awesome even stained, but I have some really cute napkins here. That I'm actually, I think I'm going to put some bundled napkins today um, together into my Etsy shop because I've got some really cute ones. Um, I do put them out as Happy Mail, but these are just adorable. And we're going to, like I said, I think I'll put some bundles into my Etsy shop. I think I'm allowed to do that. It's getting dark in Milwaukee, Jill. Yeah, it's definitely getting darker here. It was sunny this morning, but it's supposed to get so hot, right? It's supposed to get hot. Next couple of days is supposed to be brutal. I know a lot of you already have that. A lot have storms. So just everybody stay safe. All right, so again, we're going to be using, you know what? Um, we're using the ironing method. I do have to... Oh, I have sand here, sandpaper. I should have actually, I could have done the burning method on here, but I didn't think of grabbing that. All right, we're going to set this aside and let it dry. I'm just going to get up and set this aside. Right. Now we're going to start our board. Now we're going to make this hopefully look like an old barn board, but and then we'll do nautical on here. But you could do this honestly. You can do this a little varied in colors. I'm going to do black and gray. You could definitely add some red in it. You can do more red black. Hi, grays. All right. So we're going to start off painting it black. I also have my squirt bottle because it really that does help with it spreading. Let me get my brush is over here. Thank you for the hearts. I'm excited for this craft. I think it's going to be really cute when it's done. I'm just going to paint this whole board. Now you certainly can get the edges of it. I'm going to spread most of it out and then I'll wet it a little bit. And, and you could do the edges. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do them right away while we're doing this. 
trying not to get it on me. Hi, Carla, you got rain there. Isn't Oregon known for rain? All right, so the edges, I mean, the edges is just gonna finish it off. Okay, now I'm just gonna put a little bit, a little bit of mist on here. It helps spread the paint a little bit, and especially on canvas, it helps if it's a little bit thicker paint, it helps it go into the grooves a little more. It actually is a pretty quick technique. It's just the drying time in between of doing this. Okay, make sure it's a nice even layer. All right. A little. All right, and I'm gonna put a little bit of black. I'm gonna need just a little black after for a few lines, so I'm just gonna put a little on there. Let's dry it up and I can say hi. Hi, Becky, I'm glad you caught me live too. So we want this nice and dry because we're going to put an add, actually, we're gonna use a bar of soap and add a little bit of soap on it so that we can sand after and you know maybe peel up a little little bit i'm going to try it i've done it before with candles we're going to try it with soap today hi kendra um mom is having a pretty good today today my husband's having a pretty good day today. He's actually off at work, but he's doing much better. He's healing a lot. So he's in taking a nap with cash. I'm hearing the thunder in the background. I just hope we get this all done by then. I said, it's sort of a quick technique, but I think it's gonna look really cool. Hello, Lola. Is it hot by you? Arkansas is known to be hot. I know somebody who went there on bikes. So I think we saw that it's supposed to be really hot by you guys. Right. I'm good, MJ. How are you doing? Hello, Crafty Game Brand. Um, Sandra, I believe, right? Hello. Yeah, I know uh, Canda works really well. I have used it before. We're just going to try some soap. And on a canvas, I think it it probably takes a little more for canvas but you know what if it wipes down to the white that's all right that's all right because the white in between here will look good too but you want it really dry is it unusually hot there lola oh gosh are you hearing that thunder can you hear that All right, you just want it really, really dry before you put on the soap. Yeah, I think a big swatch of the United States has awful heat. All right. That's dry. Now I just got bar soap. This is probably like from a hotel. From a hotel. And just get good amounts of the soap in places where you think you would want it to sand off a little. Now I'm not promising it's going to sand off. Canvas might be a little different. I'm just trying it. And where I'm putting it, honestly, it's not... I'm not going to hit all those spots with the sander, but we're putting it just in case. Put some on the edges. Okay, that should be good. Now we're going to hit this up with a dark gray. So I have zinc. These are, okay, so deco art. I'm using everything I think deco art today. This was deco art lamp black. Now we're using, you know what I have to do? 
I Mod Podge on top of that. I need to paint it white on top of the anchor. I need to paint it white. <laughs> I'm going to do the back side of the anchor. All right, and this I'm just going to dry brush a little bit. So we'll do the dark gray. Let's grab another brush. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm not doing the sides with it. Okay, I'm just going to save this brush, though. I'm not going to wash it out. You need some rain, Deborah? All right, let's dry this out. Oh, Teresa. And humidity? Hot? Oh, gosh. Like I said, I'm almost sure the person I know went to Arkansas this week. I said, on their motorcycles from Wisconsin. So that could be brutal, brutal. You did, Peggy. You did catch me live. I hope you guys stick on. So this surface that I'm doing, honestly, you can put anything on top of it. I'm doing nautical on top of it from Dollar Tree, which, again, I think would be really, really cute. I have some sort of thick spots there. I guess we'll do that anchor in, in steps. We'll do the paint on that too as soon as we're done with this. This don't take long. Just dry it up good. Yeah, I think we're supposed to have in the 90s and very humid the next couple of days here, too. So, you deal with it, right? A lot in the house or at work. If I lose you, I'll post a picture after. <laughs> like I said, it's starting to thunder more. Now, I'm not sure that, again, because of canvas, I'm not sure it's going to work. I'm going to put a little in some places on top of this gray before I put the next layer on. We'll see if some of that will come up and leave some of the gray. We'll see. No promises. Let's see what we can do. All right, so we just put a little on there again. And I'm not going to use as much. This is Gray Sky by Deco Art. It's a lighter gray. I'm just going to put a couple drops in places. I don't want as much. Let's see if that's enough. And I'll just use another brush. Oh, actually, I'm going to use the same brush. And keep going in the same direction, you know, and this is going to create the long board look. Might have to add a little bit more. I'll probably spritz a little water on before I'm done. little bit more. I 
I don't want too much black showing in between or the dark gray. Just play with it. Just, just play with it. If you end up getting too much light, just add some more dark on it. Just keep building your layers. Blend a little of that together. All right, so that's the start of it. Now I'm going to take a little, littler brush, a smaller brush. And I'm just going to do a couple lines going down with that lamp black. Try and do as straight as you can, but it's okay that you have it, um, that it's not an even line. That's okay. Do one here too. It's looking cute. Try it just a little. Just gonna take this brush again and just try and blend a little bit of that. Again, keeping just on top of it a little bit. And that actually helps blend a little bit of that black out and you can take it run it a little of that in between here too I'm just dabbing a little in the black here too just to pull a little of that dark in here again how's that looking is that looking like a board sort of right top of that now. All right, we're going to dry this up and then we're going to sand it and this part will be done. And then we'll go back to that anchor. Now this layer doesn't take as long to dry. I don't know why. Thanks, Anne. All right, so now we're going to sand it up a little bit and maybe try and pull some of those spots off a little. Do so you want it really good and dry to do that? Antoinette, thanks for the thumbs up. So it is looking like a board, huh? That's the plan. That is the plan. All right, Gloria. Hello. Hello. Can I just make sure it's good and dry. I'm excited to see the end result, too. <laughs> we'll see how that soap did on here, right? Get all of my hands. Okay, I think... I just got some, I, I don't know if this, this is 60 grit sandpaper. We're going to sand a little bit with that and see what it does. And I'm hoping, okay, so I'll show you up close. And I'm hoping that as we do, I might hit some of the spots. See how some of the, how that actually peeled away really easily there? That's what I'm hoping to get. And that peeled down to the black. So that was the second layer. That peeled down to the white, so there was some soap under there. One more top. It actually worked awesome. I'm gonna try and get a little bit down to that white in a couple places too.
You can even go on top of the line. Hi, Sandra. Thanks, Teresa. Yeah, this is turning out awesome. I love how this is looking. Like I said, we're going to add the nautical look in it now onto it. And try and get this done before our storm hits. Okay. Let's just wipe that off. Stand up. And you can see some of it got down to the white. I'd like to hear one. Really rough it up good. You can get some of the edges if you want. Thanks, Antoinette. Hun, um, that axe is pulling up here. Oh, maybe not. Okay. What do you think? You can see up close where we sanded. That makes, you know, that really adds to the oldness. <laughs> I do have, I do have my microphone on. All right, we're going to get this out of the way. And that's really loud when they do that, right? Okay, now let me grab that um, anchor again. Now I did Mod Podge this side, so if you want to do it like that, I forgot. I have to paint it white first because I want the napkin to stand out really a lot. So skip the first part that we did. We're just doing white on here. So this is deco art again. Um, it's brilliant white I think I'm using. Whatever white you have, if you have apple barrel, go ahead and use that. Oh, I'm glad you like it. So now, you know, once you get that, you can really do any kind of decor you want. Um, you know, anything you want to put on it. We said, we're going to turn it. Well, I had put a post out asking for ideas of things you guys want to see. One of the ideas somebody put on was nautical um, or like beach themes. So that's why we're doing this. Because that's what you wanted. It's looking really dark out. Let's get through this. All right. We're also going to be using, they have nautical rope at the Dollar Tree that was at least ours that was blue and um, the blue and the natural color jute. So we're using that too on here. I think it's going to look awesome. Okay, just try and get as good of a layer as you can. Of that white. I think we can get away with just one coat. Actually, drag some white through that too. That would be, that would look good through that canvas. That would look good too. Really layer it up. Do you, Kathy, like them? Um, they don't match like around here, but I mean, we have a lot of uh, cottages near places, so there it matches. Not in my house. But I think they look cool. I love the colors of them. All right, dry this up good, and then we're gonna put the Mod Podge on top of this. Hi, Naomi. I did, Gloria. 
but I messed up because I didn't paint it first. I want to paint it first. You could do it on this side, but I wanted to paint it white because I think the napkin will pop out better. That's why after I did it, I thought about it and I messed up. It's one of my crafter messes. All right. Now let's Mod Podge again. You weren't losing your mind, Gloria. I was losing my mind. All right, now we're gonna Mod Podge. Like I said, I'm the reason why we're doing it on this side because I did do it already once, but it was on the other side. I wanted to paint it white and I didn't wanna put paint on top of the Mod Podge. I should have painted first. So get a good coat of Mod Podge on here. We'll dry it up and then we're gonna do the iron method. This honestly, the burn method on this would also work awesome. I think as it's a bigger surface, I think I'd rather do this as the ironing. Are you hearing? Can you hear the thunder? Hi Brenda, how are you doing? All right, you want that Mod Podge really dry when you do the ironing method. And then I'll show you the napkins we're putting on here. The napkin was actually from Home Goods. I got some awesome napkins from there today. Like I said, I think I'm going to do some bundles and put in my um, Etsy shop. I don't do many napkin bundles, but I have some really, really cute ones that I didn't know where to stop. Good, Brenda. I hope you're starting to get a little better. Thank you, Lisa, for passing me on. I appreciate it. And you want this really dry. Hello, Meg. Where did the anchor? This is from Dollar Tree, Teresa. It's, it's from Dollar Tree. It's actually really cute, right? They had the wheels, the ship wheels. Um, those were really cute too. That would work awesome on here too. You can hear the thunder. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's coming in. I got to keep moving. I don't want to lose you. And I don't want you to see me jump. All right, I think we're dry. Dry enough. Dry enough. All right, you want to see the napkins? These are from Home Goods. So most everything I have is from Dollar Tree, except for the paint um, and these napkins. So the canvas, this was a white canvas we painted. That was Dollar Tree. Look at these napkins from Home Goods. That's what we're using on here. So we're going to peel off the layers. And it's my lucky day that I got it off in one try with Auntie. I thought of that after too. Okay, I'm just going to lay that on there. I'll cut it later. I'll trim it after. You'll see. Okay, so I want one whole one on top of there. So that's where I'm going to lay that one. The rest, we're going to shift this up. 
We'll actually have two whole ones on there. Isn't that napkin cute? It's really cute. So I'll just take some parchment paper. Oh, I should be turning my iron on here. It doesn't take long to turn on. Oh, Cash came to say hi. You don't get to see him usually in the middle of a video, right? While my um, iron is heating up. It's starting to rain a little. All right. So don't you come say hi? Mm -hmm. Dad ignoring you now? All right. I want to make sure again that I have this on here. Don't put your nose on there. Our Dollar Tree didn't. Um, you know, they're probably gone already. That's why I ended up getting these. They're probably gone already. All right, he's running away now. Okay, and we're just going to iron this on. knows he's handsome, Kathy. He's not sure of what to make, what's all going on here. Okay, just make sure you get all to all the edges. I'm trying to see where my edges are. Did you hail the other day? Teresa, we didn't. Not where I am, we didn't. I hope we don't now, though, because it is starting to really come down here. All right, just, I want to make sure this is all adhered everywhere. Look at how cute is that? <laughs> My Mod Podge. Stuck underneath it went right through it stuck on the paper where I had the back sorry that'll sand off because that's because I mod podge the back when I wasn't thinking all right cute 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 Checking the patio door. It's coming in. All right, I'm going to cut a bunch of this off and then I'll sand off the rest. I said the burn method probably would work good with this too. Honestly, I think it'll come off pretty easily. Oh gosh, Susie, that is so hot. I know we're going to be in the 90s. All right, and I'm just making a hole in here. I've got um, a little nail file to do that. All right, let's just get, I have a sanding block laying right here that I probably didn't bring over. I'm gonna get this to work. Look how easy that is. This is from the Dollar Tree. It's for your nails. I do have a fingernail file too. I think we will do that. I'm gonna cut up into these corners so we don't tear tear it. I said you definitely could have used the burn method on here. If I lose you, like I said, I'll post a picture later. Hi Sue. All right. So this works, uh, this is just a little emery board. It works really good on smaller edges. 
This all out of here. It was for your feet. It might be, right? <laughs> but I use it for crafting. Wouldn't you think of it for crafting? This actually works really good. got it from I've, I've had it for a bit yeah <laughs> that's me did you know you were going to be in the middle of a good old-fashioned thunderstorm <laughs> I thought I'd get done in time Carla. Yeah, it actually does work for bigger areas. It works awesome. So when you get up in the little areas, you really need the emery board to get that edge off and rounded areas. Just make do with what you have. Is that looking really, really cute? Lisa, how are you? Lisa for Brown Eyed Girls is on here. Well, we all sort of started our pages around the same time of growing our pages, and we don't get to see each other very often anymore. So I'm glad you're on here. I know we, we usually always catch replays. Almost done here. Is this really bad with my microphone? Do we have my microphone? Alright. Anybody else on that crafts? You want to drop your Facebook page? You can go ahead and do that. Alright. I think we're almost done. Almost done. Yes, that's cute. We got a little more up here. And that's the reason why I wanted to paint it white is because look at how that really just pops out that napkin. If we would have put it on this natural color, it would not have popped out good. Okay, you it you would have saw it, but it wouldn't have been as bright and beautiful. All right, so let's start putting it together. All right, this was the canvas, the canvas panel we got from Dollar Tree that I just painted up. We're gonna be putting this on here like this. Look at how that looks on there. I think that pulls in all those colors. So we're going to put that on. Um, now, you could, if you wanted, hearing that, you could, if you wanted, you could put like Jenga blocks under to make it stand up. That would be sort of cute for a 3D effect. I might do that, okay? Let's do the rest of it. 
It's lightning. It's gonna be. <laughs> All right, let me show you what else we're using. We're using the nautical roll from the Dollar Tree. We're using the sand dollars from the Dollar Tree. I think we're gonna add a little of this ribbon in. You know what, I think I gotta close this door. Can you hear me better? <laughs> All right, we're gonna use the sand dollar from the Dollar Tree. We are going to use you get these from the Dollar Tree. Now I took one apart later. All I did was, or before, all I did was put the hot glue on it. Yeah, I like the 3D effect too. Hi, Patricia, you drop your page too here. Oh, your AC isn't working. That's awful all right so I just took that off of the clothespin so we've got that cute little we do have some buttons here we have some jute so let's just start putting together I do know I want this rope wrapped around all right that looks really really cute so we're gonna start on that let's get this iron out of the way get our hot glue over here oh Debbie where are you from you don't have the rain let's just start this can you hear the storm <laughs> can you hear you can hear it yeah it's it seemed to calm now a little bit oh maybe not And then we're going to wrap it twice. Yeah, we're going to we're going to end up wrapping it twice. I like the look of that. So, I'm just going to put a little bit here. And we'll wrap it around one more time. All right, and there's Patricia's link there. Okay, and then we'll just bring that around. It's okay if there's a little space in between. That actually looks really, really cute on there. And let's put a little glue here. I hope I don't lose you. This wasn't supposed to start till like five o'clock today. <laughs> oh well is what it is right you got the gist of it. at least i got the painted part done all right cute so my thought is is to put these okay these are also dollar tree if you didn't see they're they're dollar tree there's three of them in a pack and my thought is putting that on here If we're going to start though. I think we're going to put a little bit of this jute behind there. Um, the piece to tie it. We'll see what that looks like. Um, I think I'm going to leave it. I a lot of times I like unwrapping my jute, but I think I'm going to leave it together. And I'm just going to make some big loops to try and make a bow, a big bow. So this one started down, the other one I'm going to cut off up. Let's so see if it's big, it too big. No, I don't think so. I think it actually will be sort of cute. Thanks, Teresa. All right, and then I'll just take a piece of jute and tie this. I said I usually unravel my jute but I think it works with with this so this is going to be on top of here like that 
The other thing they had, and they had this at Dollar Tree too, is look at this ribbon. It says, life is better at the shore. So I think we're going to do, I think we're gonna stick a little of that ribbon out. We'll see. Actually, I think we're going to cut, just put a couple of the cut edges out. I don't think we're going to loop it. We're gonna do a couple of the cut edges out and see what it looks like. And I'm gonna dovetail them. Let's just see what that looks like. They also had this one too. We'll see about putting that one in. That's a big dovetail. Let's do a little smaller. Thanks for the hearts. You know, I have Raffia sitting right here too. I'm debating between Raffia um, and well, and this jute, but I might add a little moss behind here. Okay, so that's why I might stay away from the Raffia. I'm not sure. So I do like the idea of maybe a little bit of that blue bow in there. I said it says life is better at the shore. Let's do another one. Thanks for all those hearts and exclamation points. Put this one in here. We'll probably do another one yet. Couldn't decide on the ribbons. They had some really, really cute ones, I tell ya. No, I don't know. Maybe I'll do like, I think I'm gonna try doing two together. Let's see what that looks like. Thank you, Susie, I appreciate it. Sometimes, you know, you struggle trying to come up with something and then all of a sudden it just hits ya. So then you get excited about it. <laughs> I think we all go through that. Let's see. Yeah, I do like the idea of putting the two in there versus the one. I think it just adds them. So let's do another one of these. <laughs> Mr. Crafty Serving is in the middle of making turkey jerky. He's taking it down to the dehydrator and is waving the smell in front of me right now. It's not even done yet. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. Thanks, Anne. All right. Yeah, I do love the idea. Oh, I do love that. I love that. All right, and it's just enough. I think you still see that jute behind it. I think this would be too much. We're gonna put that one aside. We're gonna put this one aside. All right, and then my thought is, is with that, we're gonna end up putting this on the shell. All right, so let's start putting this together. I do know I want this. One other thing, let's get the, the moss out. Thanks, Lisa. I just hold you guys right by my microphone. It's sort of noisy, right? Let's just see what a little moss behind here would look like. Do that. Oh, I do like that. Do you like that with the moss? What do you think? Do you like the moss? I think I'm liking that. All right, let's put that aside. We're going to for sure put this on. Manny's Paper Fun. Oh, thank you. Hi, 
Hi, Debbie. Thank you. How are you feeling? Yeah, Teresa, I think that moss really adds to it too. All right, let's put this on. And we are gonna do this anchor as 3D. I think that just is really gonna add to it. Okay, so let's, it's gonna go on top of here. It's actually gonna help hold on, I think, the sand dollar too. Watch your fingers. If you have um, some netting, that would work really good with it. Oh, you know what? I don't know where I got this from. That would be so cute on here. Where would that go? All right, so let's put this together too. We're going to put, let's glue this. All right, good, Gloria. Let's put this, let's put this starfish. So again, this starfish was at Dollar Tree along with these sand dollars. The starfish was on a little clothespin that we just took it off. Of course, we got to add a button. That's too big. That would actually be sort of cute down there, right? These are my button. That looks like a little steering wheel. Or it's, it looks like a button doodad anyhow. Right, put that on there. The other options. Oh, that would be really, really cute. All right. We're going to put just a little tiny, tiny button off of the starfish. And I'll show you. Just to add my button. I have COVID. Oh, no, Carol. Sending you prayers. My husband is doing much better. He actually has vacation today, and yeah, he's making turkey jerky and trying to get me to smell it. <laughs> I love turkey. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, okay. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> All right. I think that's enough on here. So let's try and get this shell to stick on here. Ah, good idea, draping that net on the anchor. Good idea. I just had it sort of as a decoration up there. I had this, something came in it, and I don't know what. And I thought, oh, that's really cute. So I just sort of had it hanging out. Okay, look at how cute that is. Cute. All right, and we're gonna do this as 3D. Cute, cute, cute. All right, so I need, how many of these do I need? Do I have enough? I got three Jenga blocks. I thought I grabbed four. I guess we're gonna make do with three. Oh, there's my fourth. Yeah, the net will look cute. So let me just um, get a little bit on here yet. I will have to cut it because I think it's too much. <laughs> that is really. <sighs> hmm. That would have been just cute to put over the whole anchor. It honestly would have fit. 
Maybe I'll just take a piece of it and we'll off the top. how to do that. Thanks, Gloria. This is, you will, I don't know if you'll be able to find this though. No, that's not cute. Figure it out. We'll, we'll take a piece of it probably. All right, so let's, all right, my thought is, is to put this like this. And we're going to do it 3D. So let's put these on here. The board was a white canvas board. It was just a white canvas board from the Dollar Tree that I painted to make it look like that. All right, so catch that from the beginning. Um, and the anchor was also from the Dollar Tree. It was just one of these little wood anchors that while well, at the beginning I Mod Podge to one side, which was a mistake, I wanted to paint it first and then Mod Podge it. Actually, you could um, paint these if you want to. Oh, where's my other one? My elusive fourth one. All right. Look at how cute that is. <laughs> Are you liking it? These napkins were from Home Goods. So I said, I think I'm going to put some bundles together in my Etsy shop of napkins because I have this whole pack now. Um, and if I put some bundles together, I don't always do that, but I think um, I'm going to do that to because I've got some really, really cute ones here. All right, and these are just Jenga blocks from the Dollar Tree, too. I mean, pretty well, this whole thing is Dollar Tree. Get rid of my glue. Thanks. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Look at that shell sitter. So I just want to, okay. Now my thought, because I do, oh, I did add a button down there, but this is actually sort of cute adding this down in the corner. Do you like that down in the corner? I think I like that. Or does that take away from it? I have a, actually a littler one. Oh, that's too little. have little littler ones they look like little gears the storm got to you Debbie yeah it's I think it's almost past us now well this is perfect for a nautical bathroom yep I painted the board and this is actually just one of those canvas panels from the Dollar Tree it's just a canvas panel and I painted it at the beginning of here so catch that um, so do you like I this I think is almost maybe too big but the color is so good with it. And I do think with being there, I do think that that maybe adds a little something. What about putting a button on the anchor, like in the middle? So I do have the button on here, so I'm not worried about getting a button on. I do have one, but um, let's see. I'm just thinking on this side, that makes a difference. Yeah, I think this one this one will work because that's pretty big up there. I'm just going to put a little of this on here. I do like this netting. I wonder if I can't just, if I just cut a little piece of it and drape it over. Hello, Robin. Don't put the button on the anchor. Yeah, I don't, I, I think it took away from it for me. I, you know, but I always like trying. All right, let's, let's just take a little bit. I know you won't be able to find this. I don't, I don't know where I got it from. Let's just 
take a little piece and hang it on. Yeah, if I knew where I got it from, I would tell you something was in it. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was. But I don't want to take away from the look of here either. And I don't know. I don't know that I like it on there. I think it's really, really good. What if we drape a little on here? Oh, that actually sort of, you know what? I'm going to trim up this messy end. We're going to see about making a little bit of a bow on it. Does Dollar Tree have the netting? You know what? They did have some. I was thinking it was bigger though. I do remember seeing that there. So yeah, if you want to get netting, like I said, I just saved this from something was in it. So I just wonder... Let's just try tying it and we'll see if this works. And we might do it as a bow. Hello, Dee, thank you. We'll be doing random act of kindness soon. Oh, you like the bottom edge. <laughs> but on a bow, it's only one side. And I can always recreate that. I know I can. And it's actually shredding apart some as we go. I sort of like this. Do you like the bow on it? Actually, that covers up the one big shell though that I did like. We put it like. Mm-hmm. Just trying to see the best place to put it. What if we put it right at the top of this? Do you like this? Okay, say yes or no to the bow. Yes or no. I don't want to take away from the whole thing though. Hang it off the bottom right side. All right, we're going to see if we can make this work. Let's just tuck it in there and see if that'll work. I got a lot of no's on here. I'm not sure. I think that takes away from it. I just think this is just simple and pretty like this. I mean, you could always maybe hang it up, you know, so that it comes off the side. But I just think I don't want to take away from everything that's already on here. So I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. Sometimes you just, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you just got to leave it the way it is. I think it's really, really cute the way it is. Yeah. So... All right, what do you think? Jude around the anchor itself needs blue jute around the anchor. Yeah, I really like it without the netting. I, I really do. All right, let's see about, oh, I actually had a piece left here. So again, this, everything is, this was Dollar Tree also, this nautical rope. Just see what it'll look like wrapped up. I don't know that. I don't know that I'm gonna do that either. 
I don't think, yeah, I, I don't think the only option otherwise we could do, but that's up by this one. And I don't think we need that either. What we could do is put a hanger on and people want to hang it. You could certainly do that. That would be cute. Should we put a hanger on it? That would be a cute hanger. As is, yeah, I'm going to leave it on there. Yeah, that, it would just be that you'd have to, do, you could do a hanger, a really cute hanger like this. Or, oh, you could do this and have that as a hanger too, a little short hanger. That'd be cute, but we're going to leave it like this. All right, let's do a random act of kind of drawing. All right, thank you. Yeah, I, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave the netting off because I'm not sure. I just think that is, it's pretty good the way it is. So, yeah, I don't think it needs anything else. All right, thank you, everybody. Let's do a random act of kind of drawing. All right. We made it through the storm without. All right, Janine Hall, H O L. -N H-O-H-L Alm, private message me your mailing address and I'll get you some happy mail. Please do a random act of kindness for someone. Yeah. Yes, a hanger. Yes, a hanger. Let me just see. I'm itching now because I'm uh, playing on the jute. I'm itching. Okay, actually, that is sort of cute. I don't like it as much skinny I like it a little bit wider I think we're gonna do that let's do that let's do that thank you Mary for passing me on if you like what I do please pass me on the other thing also it's hard for me to get the word out that I'm on Pinterest and I'm really trying to grow my presence on there. And I know I send some text alerts that when I put a new idea pin that I ask you to save it because saving on there is the same as passing it on on here and it goes farther. And on here when I post posts about it, it doesn't go very far because of course I'm, I'm it's Facebook and it's their platform. They don't want to always advertise what I do so you know please check me out on Pinterest it's crafty servings um, maybe hit the emoji love on there and save save that really really helps thank you Mary I appreciate it like I said the saves and the emojis the saves are just like passing it on here that you're saving it to your board the emojis are just telling me you like it so I appreciate it if you do that all right. Okay, that's cute. This is gonna be a cute hanger. There we go. <laughs> Cash. Mr. Crafty Servings must have went outside. I appreciate it, Meg, and I know quite a few of you have been. I appreciate it. Oh, perfect, Mary. I would love if you'd save my idea pins on there or any pins that I do. Um, I've been doing a lot of idea pins, and like I said, the Pinterest has now gone to idea pins, um, and those are what they want you to do. And they're like sometimes have like I have little videos of quips of this, so I will be putting this out there like a little video of me doing like little parts of it, but they have to come back here to actually watch the whole video. Um, but they're going to that where they want you to do those kind of things. So, but to spread it on, I need y'all help to save it to boards, and, and that just helps. All right, there we go. What do you think? All right, got it. Thank you, Teresa. I appreciate it. Thanks for all coming on with me, and I hope I'll see y'all really soon. <laughs>